Okay, sure. Are we good? Sure. Okay. Hi, um, I'm Pam Selly, and I'm part of the Qui Bono team. So we are behind the, we changed our app's name to the Who Paid Political app. Um, and. I'm uh, Jake Richter. I'm also part of the team Qui Bono um, that is developing the Who Paid app. Um, and we had a third poster member, um, Bob, and who's, uh, we'll get to what he's responsible for in this poster, um, but he couldn't make it to PyCon. Um, so basically, um, we are a group, uh, our open source team is a group of five uh, citizens, so we aren't linked together by company, by club or university or anything. We just went to an, a hackathon called Random Hacks of Kindness. So there's a little logo there. And Random Hacks of Kindness um, hosts hackathons a couple times a year now um, where people all over the world get together and come together with an idea and do something that's making the world a better place with practical technology, practical open technology. So we're an open source project. And so we um, worked on the Who Paid Political app. And what we came together for is we actually have, on our team, we have, I'm a developer. Jake is a uh, fun time developer, um, not during his day job. Uh, we have a natural language processing guy. We have a journalist. And we have a mobile app developer. So we have a lot of varied experience. And we got our idea from the local Hacks Hackers group, which is a group of journalists and developers who get together and talk about how we can use programming to inform people and do good journalistic work. Um, and so we got together and we came with this idea to have a political ad, uh, app that will listen to a political ad on your mobile device. Um, so we have Android. And you, we fingerprint the ad. So after you start recording, we take 15 seconds of data. We pass the recording to a fingerprint generator. So we do audio fingerprinting. And we return articles for the fingerprint or we, we fail. Um, and if there are articles, show the results page. And this is what it works on our prototype. And our prototype is actually in the App Store, so one way to help is to just download it, just to get it on your device to help increase our download count and get us up there in the market. Um, and uh, in the future, what we want to do is when you listen to a political ad, all these political ads have names of sponsored by, you know, you know, people for otters, and they'll have an explicit thing on their website that says our mission is to destroy otters and people don't know that because they just see the thing on it's all that fast stuff at the end of the ad and so the idea for this is to close that gap between um, kind of the propaganda and the knowledge and free information and journalistic content and data and so that's what we want to do so we want to say well here are the top three funders last election cycle of Americans against otters or Americans for otters or whatever and so that's the idea behind our ad. And because we have, we have a need for it, because in the last couple of years, we had the Citizens United court decision. And so, OK. Um, so finish up. But anyway, uh, so one of the things that we use Python to kind of link us all together, and we're all various from the community. So this is kind of a general overview of all the things that we used in different languages that we came together using Python. And what we're doing now is we're talking to foundations and people in the community to try and get some support and funding. And contributors would also be good to help us build out from our prototype to a full-fledged app. Um, and iPhone app for especially this 2012 election cycle. So.